Hi, this is Andy. In today's tutorial video, we'll talk about how you can create a lead qualification and nurturing system with high level. And we'll use AI caller and SMS to do the qualification and nurturing. So basically there are five tools that we are going to use. The first one is for, co of course, uh, high level as the CRM system. And also we have FAPI uh, as the AI caller and then uh, for Twilio, we use it to send SMS, MySQL as a database, and OpenAI for doing the summary or stuff. So uh, and there are, are mainly three workflows. Uh, the first one is to schedule and send SMS with AI. First of all, we will have the form uh, to let the user to submit uh, to uh, if they agree to be reached by phone call and SMS, we will create the opportunity on Go High Level on the follow up lead stage, and then N8N will grab all the opportunities from that particular stage, and we will go to the next stage to check uh, in my SQL if the SMS number has sent more than five times, and then we'll send the SMS message using Twilio and then we'll update the retry number on MySQL. And the second stage is um, to schedule and make calls with AI. So after um, we complete um, step one, two, three in the last section, so we'll also check the MySQL for the number of calls, if it, is, uh, it exceeds five times or not. If yes, we stop the follow-up call with AI. If uh, not, the AI caller will keep following up with a prospect and then we will call the potential lead using the AI caller with Fafi and we'll update the call ID and retry the number on MySQL and last but not least for the work uh, third workflow um, we'll check the course data uh, to check all pending calls in MySQL database and then go get the course status and summary from Fafi and we will analyze whether the potential lead is interested um, by using OpenAI to, to check if they are uh, to check from the core summary. And then we will update the high level opportunity stage for follow up. And lastly, we will update um, the database status in MySQL. So we can have a quick demo now. So, first of all, uh, here is the form. So I will e input my name. Okay, and then we sign up. So um, the system will automatically trigger um, the SMS and also will trigger the call uh, through FAPI. So basically uh, we receive the call here. Yeah, so we can test it how it goes. Hi. Yes. Hi, Andy Lowe. My name is Toby. I'm from a company called Proxa, an AI automation agency. We help top real estate agents like you to qualify and follow up their leads 24 7. Um, would you be interested to learn? Yes. Great. Yeah. So basically, this is a quick demo for the um, call and um, so and the SMS here as well. So let's dive into the workflow uh, in ending the end. Okay, so uh, as we mentioned, we need five tools to complete uh, this task. And uh, so first of all, uh, we need high level, FAPI, Twilio, MySQL, and OpenAI. So um, we have prepared like these five elements here. So first of all, let's go through the FAPI the AI caller one first. So this is NAN, uh, so we can click this. And then for the name, we just put authorization. And then for value, we just need to go to uh, FAPI and then create add, click add key. And then you can create the key, for example, like for NAN, you can, you, then you can just copy the ID. You need to type bearer space and then copy this key and then paste as its value. Okay, so this is for the FAPI auth part. 
Um, so the second one is for the high level account, the CRM. So first of all, um, we need to go to um, high level, the marketplace, marketplace.highlevel, go highlevel.com. Um, so we go to the app, app dashboard, create app. So you can input a name, for example, like testing, and then choose private. Remember to choose sub account, and then you can create. As we created before, so we can just click into this uh, to show you more details. And first of all, you need to fill in the basic information. Um, you can upload the logo, uh, uh, type in the category, the tagline, etc., the website, etc. And more importantly, you need to go to the advanced settings, auth, and you need to type the scopes here. So where do you find the scopes? You can go to high level credentials, high level credentials is from uh, in integrations, build in notes, credentials, high level credentials. And then you can scroll down. This are the scopes. Uh, you cannot just co copy and paste all, uh, but you need to type them manually. For example, locations, uh, read only, contacts, read only, etc. So you need to you need to type all six. And after you type all six, um, we can go back to N and N. So we can copy this and then paste it here. And then you can add the redirect URLs. And the next one is to add the client keys from the Go High Level Marketplace. So we name it as NAN. So as the client ID and secret key, we paste it here. Again, last but not least, we need to input the scope. It's the same. You can just copy and paste from here to here. So the high level account authentication is ready. So the third one is a Twilio. Um, first of all, you can just choose the off token. So how to find the account as ID and off token, you can go to Twilio. So account dashboard, you can copy the account as ID here, auth token here. So more importantly, you need to get a Twilio number to send an SMS. So how to get one? So you can click uh, buy number. Okay. So remember, you need to choose a number that um, you can send SMS. So for example, we have numbers to do the voice, but you need the number to do SMS as well. So we can go back, um, Twilio account is set. And the fourth one is the OpenAI account. Um, so we can click it and then you can just copy and paste the API key here. So how do you find the API keys? So we can go to platform.openai.com and then we can go to the settings, uh, organization, and then API keys. So you can just create your own new secret key and then just copy and paste it to the credential here. So last but not least, um, for the database, we choose to use MySQL. You can choose to use another, like for example, MongoDB. So it's up to your choice. So basically, um, all the credentials are set. Okay, so as we mentioned at the beginning, there are three workflows. Uh, the first one is to schedule and send um, SMS with AI. And the second one is to make calls with AI. And last but not least, we will check the call status. So let's go through the first workflow first. Uh, so this is NN and the first workflow. This one is for the SMS sending. So how we trigger this um, basically is by filling this form. We ask the lead to fill, uh, fill in this form to put in the name, email, address, phone, organization. And then if they agree us to follow up uh, with them by SMS or a phone call, uh, they can just check this box and then sign up. After they fill in this form, their information will be created as a card, as an opportunity in this pipeline uh, follow-up lead 
and then uh, it will trigger the um, SMS message to be sent automatically. How it works, basically, uh, we use this um, loop over item because when we get all opportunities from Go High Level, there are so many opportunities, so many contests to be called. So um, we just use loop over items to choose the best batch size as one so that we will call each one of the contact. And uh, I mean, send SMS to each of the contact. So basically for uh, MySQL, uh, we just input um, like for the um, uh, table as from list call queue limit as one column as contact number operator equal so for the value we just get the contact phone number from go high level and um, this one is saying if um, because we are going to try to send uh, SMS message for maximum five times for one prospect so um, when we put uh, two question marks and one zero that means um, default is a zero so if we call like we, if we send one sms the return number will be shown as one so basically how it will be shown as my sql it will be like this this is a content number this is a retry number for the phone call and this is call id this is opportunity id and this one is the retry sms that we just mentioned so if we th if this number reach five, it will stop automatically for the uh, SMS message uh, sending. So we will use Twilio to send the message, send the SMS. Uh, again, we will use the Go High Level uh, contact phone number, um, and then this is the number uh, we bought from Twilio to send the SMS. Again, you need to buy a number that you can send an SMS from Twilio, and you can type your message. Uh, manually here you can just input whatever you want so and then um, my SQL 5 again um, we just need to uh, update like put the value of the column to match on so we use the loop over item again so we try SMS you can see this one is plus one that means after we send that particular SMS the number of the retry SMS increased by one. If we send again, it will increase by one. So maximum is five. So basically that is the loop for sending SMS. Okay, so after talking about the SMS flow, uh, we will talk about the second workflow schedule and make calls with AI. So we are going to use FAPI uh, for this um, workflow. So this is the second workflow. Basically, as you can see, um, it is similar to the first one, which is the one we send SMS. But uh, the major difference is uh, we use the FAPI call here. So uh, of course we use the post method and then we just paste the URL here. Uh, use generic credential type, header auth, FAPI auth. Um, so one thing we need to pay attention to is the JSON. So we just paste uh, all the details here. For example, like the row and also um, the prompts, etc. So basically, we can go to FAP uh, docs. Um, you can copy the skeleton for the JSON here, and then you can just edit the details and then paste it here on any end. Um, so, and again, so we are going to uh, update the SQL as well. So basically, uh, for this time, we will use we will collect the call ID and opportunity ID, and then we update the retry number here. So this is the one. Yes, here. So basically, is how it works for the second workflow for the VAP AI call. Okay. So uh, after talking about the previous two workflows, uh, we will talk. We are going to talk about the third one to check the call status. Um, because ultimately we would like to um, put the, I mean, to categorize the lead uh, after we follow up to see if they are interested or not interested. So for this third workflow, uh, we will put um, 
the lead to the right stage. For example, after we call them, um, if the prospect is not interested, we'll put them automatically to the not interested stage. If they're interested, we'll put them automatically to the interested stage. Um, so I would do the demo live now. Hello? Hello, Andy Lowe. Uh, yes, who is this? Hi, Andy Lowe. My name is Toby. I'm from a company called Proxa, an AI automation agency. We help top real estate agents like you to qualify and follow up their leads 24-7. Um, would you be interested to learn more? Uh, okay, what is it about? Um, great question. So basically, we have this AI receptionist system that works around the clock to qualify your leads and follow up with them. I mean, it saves you time and helps you focus on closing deals instead of chasing after leads. Sounds interesting, right? Would you like to book a quick demo call to see how it works? Uh, yes, I think so. How about tomorrow, 3 p.m.? Great. Just to confirm, may I know if your time zone is Eastern Time? Uh, yes. Awesome. May I have your email address, please, so that we can send you a calendar invite? Yeah, uh, and at gmail.com. Could you please provide your email? Thanks. Just to confirm, is it A for Apple, N for Nancy, D for David, at G for Girl, M for Mother, A for Apple, I for Iris, L for Lemon.com? Yes. Awesome. Let me check our schedule for that time. Wait a moment, please. Check an availability for the appointment. It looks like that time is booked. How about I offer you some close alternatives? Would 2 p.m. or 4 p.m. work for you instead? Yeah, 2 p.m. works. Great. Your appointment is set for 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. Okay, so it is done. So um, supposedly the workflow um, will try to update the stage of the lead from follow up to interested. So as you can see, we go through the uh, workflow from um, getting the status um, from the FAPI because we will get the summary from FAPI, the core history, and then we'll process the um, uh, FAPI history, core history uh, with OpenAI. So um, it's good that NAN can process um, the JSON that we got from FAPI and we can just drag and drop the relevant um, components here. So for example, uh, we can just input the tags and also we can input the summary here and then um, so basically it's very easy um, so this one is the summary we just drag and drop here and so we can categorize if the prospect is interested or not uh, so originally the lead was in this stage for lead and then it was directly uh, categorized as the interested uh, stage okay so after um, showcasing the uh, demo for the interested um, workflow so I will demonstrate you um, what if the prospect didn't show interest at all how we can um, move the opportunity from the stage to the non-interested stage so okay let's do the phone call now so we do it um, manually now test workflow hello Andy Lowe hello who's this Hi, is this Andy Lowe? Yes, who is this? Hi, Andy Lowe. My name is Toby. I'm from a company called Proxa, an AI automation agency. We help top real estate agents like you to qualify and follow up their leads 24-7. Um, would you be interested to learn more? Uh, no, 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 no. Goodbye. Yeah, so I just cut off the line uh, immediately. And then um, we will just um, demonstrate you how... Um, it will directly categorize this phone call as not interested on go high level so as you can see we'll go back to the go high level uh, we can refresh okay it is showing as the non-interested stage as well so yeah basically this is the quick demonstration of the uh, workflow um, so we have demonstrated how we can uh, build a lead qualification and nurturing system uh, with AI calls and SMS uh, through um, high level FAPI, Twilio, MySQL, and OpenAI. So, hopefully, you enjoy this tutorial and feel free to let us know if you have any questions. Thank you.